Yeah. yeah. And, and then it gets predictable where it wasn't for the first hour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, got one thing though at Comic Con, uh, oh, we yeah. went this past year. Um, somehow we duped them to giving us press badges, <laughs> um, nice. so we went. Cool. And, we, I uh, had to sit on Cole's shoulder. We were wearing a trench coat. We yeah. were supposed to <laughs> go. So, so the password. But one of the <laughs> panels we went to uh, that was a big deal, even though they had oh, yeah. absolutely nothing to show yet, was Snow White and the Huntsman. Which they did have something uh, to show yeah. though. Well, they showed this thing that Rupert made. That yeah, was like the beautiful kinda... promo like he pitched to the studio. Have you seen the thing he made? It's beautiful. beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Uh, no, it really is, though. Like, they were kind of talking to him that they didn't know what his vision was, and they wanted him to, like, pitch his vision. And instead, he went, and it was like, uh, the story is like something like three days on the Disney lot, right? Something like that, yeah. Um, and he just shot this stuff with actors that aren't in the film, just like kind of like models. And he put together the most gorgeous like concept art. It's like a three minute video that oh, is just cool. stunning. It's so beautiful. With lots of effects work on it. Yeah. Which but you know what that effect. means? That means that execs now can't make a decision unless they see a film yeah. of the film <laughs> they're about <laughs> to. Yeah. Thanks for upping the Here's bar, that. asshole. It looked good then, did it? Oh, it's it looked cool, crazy and I mean, beautiful. we didn't. I didn't know what the, just on paper looking like another Snow White movie, and like three of these being made right now. But then at the panel, like when they explained the scope of it, being like, I think he said like they want it to be like Lord of the Rings, like this huge universe. It's all encompassing. And Peter you know. Dinklage was there, and Kristen was there. Would Peter Dinklage is not there because he he's not in there? this. He was in. Oh, that's who? a bad ass. Oh yeah. This was uh, Chris Hemsworth, Kristen that's Stewart, right. um, Charlize Theron. Oh, and, Charlize uh, Theron was so funny. <gasps> Ain't so pretty. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. An organ came out. <laughs> Which one? I'll bet your spleen. You don't even need it. But they you showed don't? some. Nope. It helps. I need it. <laughs> Do you eat spleens? I thought the appendix, the appendix you don't need. That too. Only okay. if you eat grass. Oh, really? Hmm. Wait, I what? I smoke it. Nice. <laughs> They showed, uh, they showed some stills of people in their costumes, basically, yeah. is what they had to show. But they showed concept art for all of the dwarves with uh, the faces of the people doing yeah. them, uh, which Include you are one of them. No, sir. no, are I'm not. not? No, I'm, I play um, the archer. He's called Percy. Oh, nice. Did they have my face on a... Well, you know, it was like we were a dwarf. They put, no, they put your face on Charlize Theron's body. Did they? Nice. Yeah, it's crazy. It was beautiful, though. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> well, they were just like showing like the rest of the cast, which like wasn't a. It, they just kind of mentioned it in passing, like, oh, it's you know Bob Hoskins and uh, Ian McShane and uh, Eddie Marsden, and they've got such a uh, cool group of people. Like together. all these amazing, huge British thesps doing <laughs> these parts. And I was like, thesps? wow, there really is going to be a lot of gravity to this project. Yeah. Gravitas. Si. Exactly. Oi. A bravura performance by Matthew Barry <laughs> as the archer. <laughs> Are you an archer in real life? Yeah. I well, thought he has so. To train? He's already trained. He's in top I don't peak physical. 